Welcome from the Daily Dirt from the Salem Small Goose Tour. Today we're at the uh, Kinsman Building. Uh, behind me you see the uh, Opus Bar. In that bar, if you go downstairs and order a drink, get a good drink, it's a good dark beer. Look at the bar. Look at the wall behind the bartender. That actually is the largest sealed up tunnel entrance in the town. So, what happened is that John Kinsman, he had actually built this building here. Now, John Kinsman, he was the superintendent of the Eastern Railroad. This is the railroad of George Peabody of J.P. Morgan fame had built. And this was a building that connected his train to the train station here. Now, the Kinsman building had eight tunnels coming in in the back and one going out the front, right where I'm at now. So even today, it almost looks like a tunnel going through the first floor. And there's one actually underneath, going the length of the building, coming out where I'm at, so that these smugglers could actually move their goods, if they didn't want to sell them in Salem, and move it to the underground train station that was here, to the train, you know, underground train. Now, the train tunnel originally went from Essex Street to the Tabernacle uh, Church. Let's see if I can look at the spire of that church there, so you can kind of get an idea where it ends. You can see it there in the distance. And then over here, you could probably get to see the corner of Essex Street. So it was a very tr small train tunnel. And it was just enough so you could get one train underneath. And from this point here, just behind me, this corridor, and there's a tunnel underneath it. From that tunnel, eight tunnels in the back of this building would converge on this one point, And we able to then move the goods from all the smugglers in Salem to this train so you can smuggle up the new, low, um, the new mill cities, Lowell and Lawrence. Now Salem was very popular with the Underground Railroad, and it's easy to say it's not Britain, but during the time that Lowell and Lawrence was being built, they needed cheap labor. So you have a lot of runaway slaves coming through our tunnels. Now how easy would it have been to actually access some of the tunnels from this building to get these people on the train and put them work in a bunch of sweat factories up in Lowell and Lawrence? Well, what can they do? They can't complain. So they get stuck working up there. So in front here was the Eastern Railroad. They would connect to this building here, to the train um, the tunnels coming through. And there's eight tunnels in the back, so there's eight tunnel systems inside Salem that would converge here so they could all smuggle out of town. Now, the Eastern Railroad, as I said before, was a railroad owned by George Peabody. George Peabody is a guy who was selling all the shares in the Second Bank of the United States. And when Jackson got rid of the bank, he um, engineered with Rothschild right before his death to actually create the 1837 panic as revenge. So this is the, the story about the smuggling in Salem. This is the train tunnel that everything was smuggled out of from. And uh, go get a drink down at Opus and look at that bar again in the basement. Remember that bricks, all kind of rubble looking? That's the largest sealed up tunnel entrance in town. And if you see all the, uh, the Belco doors in the back, that was the old tunnels going into this building. There's about eight of them. So I hope you, TJ and Mark, actually enjoyed this. And check out the other Daily Dirts from the Salem Smugglers Tour. And also we got a uh, murder mystery tour going on tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. It starts at Derby Wharf, and it goes through the commons past all the suspects in the murder's house, and ends up at the house that the man was murdered in. Now, this is a murder that the uh, game Clue is based upon. So, if you think about the game pieces, the original blackmail letter that came to town after Joseph White was murdered, Mr. Body, had came to his nephew, Stephen White, and the man said that I know you killed your uncle and that you used a lead pipe, and I'm the guy who stabbed him 17 times in the chest with a Scottish dirt. So if you look at the board game Clue, you got the Scottish dagger, you got the lead pipe, and the rope that was used to hang all the innocent people inside the crime. Also, that house, the Gardner Pingree House, which is across from the, um, oh, what's in a Crowhaven Corner, that's the house from the board game Clue. Now, the Parker Bros got interested in this murder because their uncle was supposed to be the person presiding on the case, who dies the day he's supposed to be in court. So, that's Park Brown's connection to it. So tomorrow, 8 o'clock, you get to find out more about this murder mystery and see if you can figure out who actually did the murder. 
So if you want more information, go to Salem Smugglers Tour, which is at www.salemtunneltour.com and purchase tickets for tomorrow night and see if you can figure out who the actual murderer was. So, hope you guys enjoyed. And nice to see you, Aaron, and talk to you guys later. Bye. Just remember, Salem Smugglers Tour, Northern Witchers.